Um, I was, I worked for the Trade Center, one of the carpenters, and uh, I was going to go do a job. And um, I got on the elevator, and the freight elevator, and I heard the first um, explosion, and the elevator blew up, the doors blew up, and it dropped. And um, I was lucky that the elevator got caught in between two floors that... Which, which floors? The B levels, the basement levels, right. where all the, car, you know, all the mechanics are. Right. And um, with the screaming and yelling, other co-workers pulled the elevator guy out and, and myself. I was laying there for about 40 minutes and my boss couldn't wait for the EMS. He went crazy. He says, get her out of here, get her out of here. And he was able to get me out through Barker Street through the parking lot. And I want to thank him for, for saving me because uh, if I would have stood down there, I wouldn't have been here today. Um, at what point did you actually get out of the building? Uh, when everything first started, you know, I, according to the hospital, I was the first uh, trauma patient that walked in here. Mm. So I was lucky to be one of the first. But I, after the first explosion, I was laying on the floor about 40 minutes. And, and, and how, how well do you know that subterranean part of the World Trade Center? Well, I worked for the building for 15 years. I think I know it from the back of my hand. Um, really, I didn't expect this bombing to occur after the first one, since I was in the first one also. Right. Uh, but when I heard that explosion, that's the first thing I thought was, here we go again, another bomb. Well, like I said, I was, um, I was going to, I got on the 50 car, which is the freight elevator. I was going to do a job on a 46th floor, and um, the elevator operator closed the door. It was just me and him in the elevator. All of a sudden, I heard that explosion, and the doors blew. And the elevator dropped, and there was smoke, uh, fire, water all over the place, debris, concrete, you name it, just fell on top of us. How he far did the elevator drop? I can't really tell you, but I was caught in between the floors, and I was lucky, and uh, there were some other guys, co-workers, like, like um, Artie says, there's all workers down on the B levels, and they just pulled me out, and um, they laid me on the floor. I was laying there for about 40 minutes with one of my partners, Carl, and he stood by me, but my boss was hysterical because um, nobody was coming to get me or the other guy. So he says, the hell with it, let's, let's get her out of here. I, I just felt um, like they put me on some kind of wood or something and they carried me out on a, on, a, on a trolley or something. I don't know, I'm not sure. And they just pushed me out of the, the parking lot, through the parking lot through Barclay Street. And uh, finally he hailed uh, an ambulance and I want to thank him. If it wasn't for my boss, I would have still been down there. It's unbelievable.